Guys, your credit cards are not safe. If you own a flipper server, you can steal credit card information. And in most occasions, you can actually use that credit card information to buy stuff online. This content is for educational purposes only. Please read the four points below before you proceed. If you want to use this knowledge, Please be aware only to use it on your own possessions. Do not hack anyone that is illegal and you can go to jail. Get free stuff for yourself. So this is a pure educational video. I do not condone any kind of hacking and I think you should stay on the safe side. So in this video, we're going to use a credit card of mine that I have here. It is actually not working anymore. But this doesn't really matter. It is still the same chip in the credit card. I will not disclose any information on this video or in this video, but I will talk about the implications that you can actually, well, do to other people if you steal their information. There are several things that needs to be in order before you can do this. You have to use the NFC technology, which is also on the flipper. And go ahead and check out. I have connected my flipper series to the Q flipper right here. You have the NFC which stands for near uh, frequency communication. So that means near. So you need to be very near, like one maximum, I guess, two centimeters. So there is a certain chance that you need to, well, be lucky, but need to be on the safe side. In order to protect yourself, I'm gonna talk about that in a later part of this video. First of all, let's just go ahead and start up the NFC and just press read. Now, when I read this credit card here, you're going to hear the typical flipper zero sound that we all heard so many times. I'm going to put the credit card underneath the flipper zero. And as you can see, it is now actually read. The information is right there on my screen. It's just read out for you. Now, that information does actually contain the actual card number and the expiry dates. I'm not getting the C. WCVC number or the CVV number or the CCV number, however you're going to call it, because that is not something you can read from the card. So what can you use this information for? Well, basically, this information actually enables me to go ahead and use that credit card online on particular websites that doesn't require a CVC number when you buy something. One of the sites that actually give you that possibility in some regions uh, is Amazon. And that is quite worrying because you can go ahead and create your own profile and basically then, well, shop in another name. I think it's kind of worrying that you are set off with this device and people can go ahead and steal other people's credit cards. Many people need to be educated about what a flipper zero is, but us just in particular be educated about how to recognize different kind of hacking guard hardware and gadgets to say, well, maybe I should not be too near to that particular device. Also, it can be enhanced. You can enhance the signal. You can boost it. You can even buy a dedicated device to read credit cards. This is just one multi-tool that can do the thing. But you can go ahead and buy one tool itself on Amazon right now or AliExpress that are made for reading credit cards. It needs to be near still but you can actually boost the signal quite a bit so you can range it out to centimeters, like 20, 10 centimeters. And that is getting quite dangerous because you can just stand on the next to another guy in the elevator, for example, and just be lucky once. It's, it's gonna happen eventually. You can steal the credit card information and boom, you got free stuff. So basically this is a video where I talk about, you know, the actual implications and the problem with this. What you can do now is just go ahead and say more and you can save it and then you can have it on your flipper. Now you cannot pay with your flipper zero. You need the actual chip. So it is true that you cannot directly steal the credit card information and use the flipper zero to pay off at a paying count or something like that. You would need to find some sort of web page. Now, I'm not gonna disclose any web page that does it. I told you a few already, that's probably too much, but it doesn't take that much of an effort in order to go online and just search, just try different kind of popular websites and you can probably get or find something. In order to protect yourself, I would definitely go ahead and 
and and and go to Amazon or another web page and find one of those NFC protection wallet, for example. And you can go ahead and find many of these kind of things. I actually own one myself because I do not really trust the world that much. And in the in in the end of the day, you know, I'll trust my Ironly wallet. That's kind of big, a clunky probably, but you can get smaller ones just like that. The price you see here is just a bit higher. Go ahead and, and go to Amazon. You can see these kind of different wallets. Some of them is a RFID blocking medium size. And you know, that is really the wallet you need because it's gonna enable you to be safe and have your credit card on your person without the information being stolen. So for this video, I really just hope that you learned that there's actually quite some possibilities with the Flipper Zero and things you can do. And I want you to think about what you do and stay safe and do not go ahead and steal other people's credit card information that is illegal and you can go to jail. Again, this is just a video for pure educational purposes and I really hope you learned something about it and I hope that you will be more safe in the future. Have a really nice day. Click the bell, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below. I'm going to back to you as soon as I can. Bye.